think much. I just really like mayonnaise. This is just you one just part. You just traumatized me. That's so sad. Mm. Okay, so let's say I want to take the freedom away from somebody. I want to imprison them. I'm going to ask you regarding this action. How important is consent? Very important. Very. You can ask why. <laughs> That's a loaded question. Oh, you're a lawyer. A lawyer. Um, Wait, what was the question again? Why is consent important? Um, because if it's, well. if you don't give consent, you're not saying yes to doing something. So like, exactly. So therefore, you might not want to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm I would say it's because yeah, because you don't want things being done onto you that you don't yeah, want them done. Yeah, yeah right. I so agree. so that's why consent is important. Okay, what if this person was passed out or could not remember? They can't consent. They, they can't consent. consent. Yeah, st st consent is still important. Yeah. Okay, what if this person is mentally challenged or not intelligent enough to understand the concept of consent? Can't consent. Still, 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 need, still need consent. Okay, what if this person looked different? They have a different skin color, they had a lot of Mars. hair. Consent is still important. Yeah. Consent is still important. Yeah. I like that. So we've established that regardless of the person looks like, regardless what state they're in, regardless whether they can give consent or not, consent matters and we should get consent. Yep. Okay, what if we really want to do this? <laughs> What do I want? Like, I don't know, imprison them. If you really want to imprison them, imprison, what does that mean, put them in prison? It means like uh, capturing them and keeping them captive, let's say. Well, if someone, like, mate, that's illegal? Let's assume it's not. It depends. Do we still need consent? It consent to imprison them. Yeah. It depends on, like, the what's happened, the situation. Like, there's no particular reason, I just I mean, want to like, do it. Someone, uh, like, no. the law. No, 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 no. What about you? Say it again. What about if I imprison you for no reason? Yeah, exactly, right? So I, I, would, I would have to consent to it, right? Yeah. No, but you don't have to consent. Yeah, what? you've not done anything wrong. To imprison someone? Yeah. That's not done anything wrong? Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's, done anything wrong. Though. It's important to get consent, right? Yeah, yeah but that's okay for you to... By, by the way, when I say by imprisoning them, let's say I, I, I mean taking them to my house and keeping them... Okay, yeah. yeah, that's kidnapping. Not fair. Kidnapping, right? Yeah, that's right? not... No, they can't... Shh, you know, don't do it unless you Yeah, consent. don't do it, that's right. not fair. Exactly, yeah. consent, exactly, yeah. love it. She's a bit slow. What if it benefits us? In what way? I don't know, I just I get pleasure you from you or the person yeah. that you're in prison and... I, I benefit from it, not the person. No, you that's insane. Still need consent, love it. Yeah. Okay, what if it were a norm normality in society? What, to imprison someone? Yeah, 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 to everybody does this for some reason. Still wrong. Still yeah. wrong, still need consent, right? Yeah. And what if... Uh, it were legal. Then it shouldn't be legal? Then it shouldn't be legal, we still need consent, right? Yeah. Okay, and what if everybody's doing it for like, I don't know, it's a tradition all of, all of a sudden. Everybody's been doing it for hundreds of years. That's weird. Mm. It's wrong. It's the wrong. Tradition should change. We still need consent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've established it doesn't matter how the person looks like, it doesn't matter what state they're in, it doesn't matter what the action is, we still need consent, right? No matter how much, if it benefits us or if we need it to, right? Yeah. So, then, what do you think about animals going into the slaughterhouse for us? Oh no, it's awful. Mm. Awful, right? Yeah. Would you see, do you consume animal products, by the way? I don't eat red meat, I was vegetarian for yeah. eight years. Mm. Would you say that consent would still matter in these cases? Yeah, but they can't, but they can't consent. They can't consent, like wrong. but that's why I asked, right? That is, it's, it's consent, it's still wrong, right? Yeah. Exactly. Do you, do you know what veganism is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, can you walk me through it, just to be you sure? You don't eat dairy or meat. Don't use any yeah, don't products. use animal products, products yeah. that are like tested on animals. Yeah. yeah, so it's a moral philosophy where we oppose the use, abuse and slaughter of animals. Yeah. Uh, for anything, for food, clothing, entertainment, and or any, any other case, right? Yeah. Uh, and especially given that nowadays it's unnecessary to do so, it means that every time we buy an animal product, we choose to put an animal to a slaughterhouse, right? Yeah. So, given that we cannot get consent, and given that it's wrong, as you say, that what is stopping you two from being vegan and living a vegan life? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> probably because, like, I don't know, grew up, like, my family would probably be like, why are you going vegan? Like, that's weird kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it would be pretty normal for me to go vegan. Yeah. Like everyone I mean, would just yeah, expect it. I don't drink milk. Mm. I don't eat like a lot of meat. Yeah. I probably could because I don't really eat that much. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because it's all it's all, it's all about the animals, right? At yeah. the end of the day, right? And uh, I don't know, like, uh, let me ask you, do you like dogs or cats? Yeah, my dog's dead. Yeah, so so would you, like, would you say if we if you had an industry, you, you went to a country, well, not you went to a country, like, we had, the, all of a sudden you found out that all of the meat in the supermarket that you can buy is dog meat. It's oh, coming from dogs. Mm. You would still not consume it, right? No way. Yeah, so then what is, because what is the difference? What is, what does a dog have? that a pig doesn't have that says it's okay to put a pig to a slaughterhouse but not a dog. Family. Dogs have a family. <laughs> Makes a family. So what if there are dogs that don't have families? That's a shame. Yeah. It's a shame. I'll take them. You'll take them? Okay. Yeah. But it's still like, is there any trait? Does a dog have anything that a pig no. doesn't? No, right? No. So if it's wrong to do it to dogs, it should be wrong to do it to yeah. pigs also, right? Yes. Yeah, and consent, again, I, I keep bringing it back because that's where I started and I think it's important to understand this concept because these are, none of these animals consent to being uh, like enslaved because they are being enslaved, right? Regardless yeah. if we do it for milk, dairy, which by the way, the dairy industry has awful practices on its own. Yeah. But like regardless of, let's say, if, even if the best practices are there, us enslaving them and using them how we please, as long as they cannot give consent is still wrong. Is yeah, it not? So I agree. Yeah. I love it. It sounds like you have vegan morals, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome to hear. Yeah. So, so what is, uh, <laughs> what would incentivize you to go vegan right now? I, I would it. honestly do it. It wouldn't take much. I just really like mayonnaise. You just like what? Sorry. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Vegan mayonnaise. What are you talking about? Which is exactly the same. I know. I easily could do it. I think. Yeah. What about you? I probably could, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't really thought about it to be honest. I mean, I'm gonna give you resources. Uh, okay. Do you have any questions for me? I'm, I'm vegan. Are you vegan yet? Yes, I am vegan. How long have you been vegan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so I've been vegan for two years, uh, but I was vegetarian for six. Mm. The reason why I like to do this and talk to people is because while I was vegetarian, I thought I'm not harming animals, yeah. but it turns yeah. out that I am actually harming way more animals. Yeah. Like, wait, maybe not way more, but a lot of animals still. So yeah. mm. it's all unnecessary. Mm. Say it again? You're doing your best. Yeah, yeah. So my only regret in life is not being vegan earlier, honestly. Yeah. So um I think if I was to go vegan, I would need to go back to being vegetarian and then transition yeah. and I just like I could just like drop everything and go vegan. Yeah. Sure. What do you think what 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 do you know about the dairy industry? Not much. Not much. No. So all we know is that we take the, the milk from the cows, right? And yeah. I assume you imagine a world where the cows are on the field and then somebody just goes and milks them, right? Yeah. Ideally. But why do you think cows produce milk? Where? Why? For like their, their babies? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so what happens is, first of all, cows get forcefully impregnated yeah. by the farmers, oh. right? Uh, then I can describe the method they, they put in the, their uh, hands up their anus and then holds the cervix, injects bull semen into their vagina. It's 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 horrible. That's disgusting. It is, and it, they they get held in a thing that is called the industry term is called a rack. A rack. Yeah, the cow is held in that. So it's a lot of vegans call it. Rack. I also think it is, but nah. it's Pour milk all the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After nine months when the baby is born, because the milk has to go for human consumption, the baby is separated from the mother. So the baby never sits with the mother. And some good farms, they stay for like a month, but not more. Mm. And uh, if the baby is a male, they go to the slaughterhouse because yeah. they're useless to the industry. If they're female, they get put into the cycle year over year for six to eight years, depending on the breed of the cow, depending on the farm. And afterwards, they also go to the slaughterhouse. And they can live up to 20, 25 years, so they don't live even half their life, right? Mm -hmm. So all of this for cheese or whatever the fuck the dairy brings, right? So if you ask me, I, I still don't think it's justified to do this to them. Because if I were in their shoes, I wouldn't want that to happen to me, right? Yeah. So again, like the same thing with consent in a sense, right? Yeah. And uh, all of these animals are sentient. Do you know what sentience is? No. Like they're aware. It means they're, that's yeah. a very, very nice, this, I, I'll actually use this from now on. It means they're aware, yeah. It means they're aware, it means they have emotions, it means they have uh, uh, experienced pain, they experience happiness, they have personalities, yeah. they have yeah. families and all of this. So they, they're very similar to us in that yeah. way, are yeah. they not, right? I mean, the only difference is maybe that we're more intelligent, but should we really base mm. whether somebody should die or not on intelligence? Mm -hmm. No. 
No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so... That's so sad. Mm. Yeah, it is sad. Like, the, this is just you one just part of it. just traumatized me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's a hidden thing, though. Like, yeah, no one, exactly. Like, no one educated about it. Yeah. You don't exactly. learn that stuff on skill, do you? Yeah. yeah. Nobody tells you about these. And this is, by the way, this is standard practice. And it's... Yeah. Are you guys from UK? Australia. Yeah, this is RSP Australia. Okay, yeah. this is RSPC. Australia. RSPCA is also in Australia, right? Yeah. All of this is RSPCA approved. Yeah. All of it is horrible. If you see, RSPCA is just a conglomerate that helps the farmers. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. for the animals, it's for the farmers more than anything. So, I'm going to give you some resources right now because you, I want you to get a bit more informed just to understand why vegans don't consume any animal products, aside from the idea that we don't want to use animals. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're at the beginning, it, it sounds kind of weird to, because we've built a society where we say it's okay to use animals. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that if there's no consent, we sh really shouldn't do it. Yeah. But, but if you cannot, it's very difficult sometimes to stay clear of that idea. So then it's good to at least understand why a plant-based diet is suitable and why all of this is uh I so I'm, I'm gonna give you are you together can i give you one card okay so if you go on this website right here three movies that wtf right? it's yeah it's kind of what the fuck it's an organization with the free that i sometimes do activism with uh, you can call it what the fuck whatever uh, uh, this is a code that i created Mm -hmm. They're gonna ask you to put in the code. You can put in this code. Okay. Um, let me just tell you real quick what's on it. So, so there's a thing called Challenge 22, which if you subscribe to it, uh, everything is free. If you subscribe to it, they send you recipes every day on how to be vegan. They hook you up with the nutritionists. So it's it's basically all the resources you need to be vegan. Yeah. Uh, then there's also personalized help. Somebody logs in with you on a Discord server. They they say. Oh, well, are you if you're struggling with some things on how to be vegan or whatever, somebody will log in with you online, have a conversation with you, and maybe help you out. Yeah. All of it is free. And there's one thing that I want you to watch. If you put in that code, all of this is available also without the code. But if you put in this code, I put a video there. It's called the most important speech you will ever hear. Uh, it's about an animal rights activist such as myself, but way better spoken who held a speech in U.S. Somebody recorded it, put it up online. It's got millions of views. I'm going to challenge your belief systems today so certain parts of the speech will be intense. The video is one hour. The speech is 30 minutes. Um, the speech is about animal rights and how uh, what happens in the animal industry. And I think it's important that you uh, document yourself further into this, uh, uh, into why... Well, I think it's important to know what you're buying, right? Yeah. What you're paying for. It's very important that you know uh, that maybe animals are suffering, maybe humans are suffering. At the end of the day, you can make your choice afterwards better knowing exactly what you're paying for, right? So please watch this part. The 30 minutes, the speech is very, it's where they explain it. It's not gruesome. There's parts of it where it's part of gruesome. Yeah. But if you don't like to look at that, don't look at that. But at least it's important that you understand like you, like you did now for the dairy industry, right? Yeah. yeah. Like it's important that we know exactly what these practices are because all these industries, they're so incentivized to sell us products that they will never tell us what the truth is behind it, right? Yeah. So it's important that we know what the truth is behind it so that we can make decisions based on the reality, not some fiction that they created for us. And um, do you know what the number one benefit of being vegan is? Health benefits? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Health is, well, it's not the number one, but it's, no. it's one benefit. Save the animals. Exactly. Animals don't die on your behalf. Yes. And you're not a hypocrite, because if you oppose the killing of animals, needless killing of animals, then you can live up to that standard, right? Oh. Yeah, and one person going vegan can save up to 100 animals per year, oh. depending on how much they animal products con they consume, yeah. right? So that means going forward, every every time you will buy an animal product, you will put an animal to a slaughterhouse, mm -hmm. right? So be aware of that. Like you can take your time towards being vegan, but every time you'll buy an animal product, they will go to a slaughterhouse. And um, it, as long as you're not vegan, you know, just count the number of animals that die for you <laughs> going forward because of this number, right? It's, it's a huge number, right? If you yeah. think about it. Um, Thank you so much for having this conversation with me. How? What's your name? Ariana. Ariana. Say that again. Rachel. Rachel. Okay, I'm Chip. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. To meet you. I hope. Uh, I hope you can go vegan. I. I. I mean, it's. There's really. Honestly, it's not difficult. It's, it sounds difficult at first. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. I think people make it sound a bit difficult. Especially, where, where there's do you so live in UK? There now, like, oh, yeah, exactly. Vegans. Exactly. There's so many yeah. vegan products nowadays. You just you just have to look at it. Like, for me, uh, after being vegetarian, my life as a vegan has become actually easier yeah. and cheaper overall. 
Mm. There are some products that are more expensive. I don't always buy those, right? And yeah. I looked in, in Albert Hein and the store that they have here, there are 150 products. In UK at Tesco, they have 150 vegan, like all of these are mock meats, by the way, yeah. right? They have yeah. 150 products. So like if you count all the number of products that you have, there's so many that if you find one that you don't like, maybe you like another, right? It's yeah. not, with these products, it's all, you need to find the one that works for you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for having yeah, this conversation with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Have a good day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.